Download free demo version or paid version of QuickBooks Pro 2021. We will go on to the Intuit website. The owner of QuickBooks discuss the process for downloading the free 30-day trial or signing up for the student version, which is another free option that may be available to some, and then taking a look at the paid version for QuickBooks Pro and QuickBooks Pro Plus, downloading from the Intuit site to our computer so that we can then take that and install the QuickBooks software onto the computer, which we will do in a future presentation. Let's get into it with Intuit's QuickBooks Desktop. The first option for downloading the QuickBooks Pro Desktop software, the one we recommend for this course if you do not already have access to QuickBooks Pro, is to take a look at the downloadable free trial version. So it's going to be a free trial version. Now this currently, as of the date of this recording, they still have 2020. 2021 has just come out for purchase. Therefore, we hope they will update this to 2021 shortly. But even if you can only download the 2020 version, we do have 2020 information in the course. So you could take a look at that or follow along with the 2021 information. Much of it will look very similar between the two. So if you want to get into this option, you can go to this URL up top or you can search in your favorite browser. I would search download a trial of QuickBooks Desktop. Download 30-day free trial of QuickBooks Desktop. Make sure you mention Desktop because if you do not, it will likely point you to QuickBooks uh, Online, different type of software. If I go back to the desktop version here, it's going to look something like this. If I scroll down, down then, download 30-day uh, trial for QuickBooks Desktop, you will put it on your computer and you'll have, they have the licensing agreement down here, which is something that typically will, you'll need to do for the desktop version. So what you do is you click on this item and that's going to give you the downloadable option here. So now this is the thing that's going to run the software. So when you put this on your computer and then run it, that's going to be the installation process. We'll talk about the installation next time. This is going to be the thing that installs it on the computer. You can install it from here. I'm in Chrome. Uh, that's my browser. That's why it opened up down here. So you could, I would then drag it onto my desktop and then we'll run it uh, at a future point. So we'll go through the running of it at a future point. So that's the free trial version. The next option that you can think about is the student version. So you could type in QuickBooks Desktop for Students into your favorite uh, browser and then look for the student option. And you have this option here. It says QuickBooks Desktop for Students. Students at accredited uh, academic institutions are eligible for one-year trial of QuickBooks Online or five-month trial of QuickBooks Desktop. We will be using the QuickBooks Desktop here. You might be able to do both. You might be able to get a free month of the free trial and then try to sign up here and see if you're at an institution that they say is accredited for their purposes. Then you might be able to get a five-month QuickBooks. This is a comprehensive course, so it would be nice to have more than 30 days. So this would be a great free type of option in order to practice this as you go. If you want to purchase the, the desktop version, remember that if you purchase it even for your company file uses, you can still have multiple files on the desktop version. So if you're planning on buying the desktop version, you could still practice with us using a nice, free, clean, fresh QuickBooks file because you get to use multiple files in QuickBooks desktop. That's one of the benefits of it. So this is at the Intuit website. Intuit is the owner of Quick QuickBooks. That's I-N-T-U-I-T dot com. QuickBooks website. We're going to go to the QuickBooks item here. They have different software Intuit does. They own different software, which is one of the advantages of working with Intuit because there could be integrations between them. I think the easiest way to get there is to go all the way down to the bottom of this website where they have a list of their uh, software down here in their products. And we're looking for the desktop version. So I'm going to go to desktop for the for the normal desktop, which is a Windows-based. They do have the Mac version. We will be using the Windows-based version here. It'll be similar for the Mac, but I don't think our backup files will work on the Mac. But the process of the QuickBooks process will be similar. So if you have the Mac, you got the Mac version. They are updating the Mac version. Uh, they, they stopped for a little while. They, I think they did some substantial updates to it. So it looks like they're they're... They're invested in the desktop version for both Pro and the Mac at this point in time, as far as I can tell. We're going to go to the Desktop Pro. Scroll down. We have our purchasing options. So here's going to be the biggest bucket where they're really clearly trying to drive people to. That's going to be the Pro Plus. Now, if you have payroll, as we discussed about in a prior presentation, then you'd have to add on the payroll. We're not going to add on the payroll here because I want to keep it on the baseline 
level, which is the level that most people would be working with, Pro Plus, and then they would tack on payroll if they need to. Now, there, there is sometimes a manual payroll in the, in the QuickBooks Pro that we can use as great for practice purposes, and if we have access to that, we will do so. I do not recommend using a manual payroll if you actually are running payroll because payrolls become complex to the point that you basically need more assistance with it, either through add-ons to the software or through um, through an external u- source company like an ADP or a Paychex. So we're going to be considering QuickBooks Pro Plus. Now, note that you can still buy QuickBooks Pro. The only difference is, as we discussed in a prior presentation, this one would be downloaded to your computer as a one-time purchase, and then you'd purchase it again next year. That's the old model that they have been on you clearly can see that they are trying to move away from that by the fact that they put pro down at the bottom here (laughs) not emphasizing pro because they're trying to move to a subscription model so you can still buy the pro down here and if you're going to be using quickbooks for multiple years and you do not have things that need to be updated from year to year meaning you want to use the same software for multiple years then then you might be able to do this and and use it for for more than one year without having to renew it which would be one of the benefits, even though the price tag is higher, it might be worthwhile if you can get multiple years of of use from it. You may also try if any of these options are not available to you, if you just want to practice or if you have basic bookkeeping needs, you can also try looking for prior versions of the software and see if you can get access to that if you just need basic bookkeeping needs uh, or if you want to follow along with prior portions of the course, which we do have in prior versions of the software. Uh, you can look into that as well. You might want to talk to your CPA firm if you need a, another option, and they might be able to provide you with a prior version of it or or possibly help you out to get a discount in some way, shape, or form. So, And, and that's another thing you, you may want to do if you're purchasing it at this point. You may want to talk to your CPA or something and see if they have any kind of options to give you a, a discount on it. So we're going to go through the purchasing option of Pro Plus. If you did buy Pro Plus, Notice that you can then, it's a subscription model now, so they're trying to make it so it updates each year as opposed to a one-time purchase, and you should be able to add on payroll at a later point if you choose to, although they might give you a more of a discount if you buy it up front at this point in time. So I'm going to go to the buy now option. Now it goes directly to like a sell-up option here because they're, they're going to try to push the payroll again. So if you don't buy, if you don't buy the pay, payroll, They're always going to be asking you, they're going to ask you about the payroll because they're going to say, hey, don't you want to buy payroll? If you don't need payroll, then then you don't need that. So you're going to say that uh, you're going to skip this item. So instead of adding the plan, we're going to go ahead and say, continue without the payroll, please. Continue without the payroll. And again, the payroll is kind of an add-on type of feature. Then we have the items in your shopping cart. So this is going to be their checkout page. Once again, they're emphasizing the fact that they want to push Pro Plus. They're basically saying, hey, by buying the Plus and paying annually, you're saving $100, although once again, you have to then purchase it annually. You're going to be updating it annually for that price as opposed to a one-time purchase, which you might be able to, to go through multiple years with if you buy this, the one-time purchase. Although again, they do update each year, but if you have basic bookkeeping needs, you may not need the updates each year. Okay, so then I'm going to go ahead and check out. Let's check it out. We have the standard purchasing information here. Email, first name, last name, and credit card information as well as billing information down below. Then you got to read through the terms and then agree to, of course, reading through the terms and say, okay, uh, let's review the order. Now, if you already have an account with Intuit as I do, then Intuit might say, hey, you got an account. Uh, let's go to the account and sign you up under under your account, basically signing you in. Now, notice if you've purchased QuickBooks in the past, then you will already have an account. Or if you use one of other QuickBooks products, such as a TurboTax or a Lacerd type of product, tax type of product, you may already have an account with Intuit, the owner of QuickBooks. Once you go through the purchasing process, you're going to need to download the software. Now, when you download it, you're going to download the installation process. So then you're going to, then we'll go through the installation of it after we have the download. So we're going to download the installation, then we will have to install it. As you install it, you're going to need these items, the license number and the product number. I would save those, and so to do that, you might want one way you could save it. I would open up basically a Word document here to save those numbers. So, um, and then I'm just going to open up the Word document. 
what I'd like to do is take a screenshot. So I have the prior screen was the one we were just looking at. And as long as that was the prior screen, then I'm going to go to this illustration item. I'm going to go to screenshot. And then you could clip the whole screen, but I like to take, which would be here. So you could just click that if you would like. And, and then you can basically trim this down by going to the, to the uh, page format over here and crop the page and, and pick up uh, just the amounts you need and whatnot. Or uh, you, can, you can do the cropping as you pick it up. So I'm going to go to insert, screenshot, and screen clipping. I want to pick this information up. This is important. Uh, I would do it here so you don't forget to do it because you will need to register the software after you have installed it at some point in time and it's quite common <laughs> to uh, forget that process and not have uh, these numbers so that's the order number let me pick up the other ones just so i show you how to pick up the right ones here all of the numbers that are needed so we'll pick up the other numbers screenshot of these items so i'm going to pick up these numbers and then save those numbers have those numbers save them somewhere uh, we could save them, well, you could save those numbers somewhere. Then I'm going to go ahead and download. So let's go ahead and download this item. And uh, we're going to say, you have chosen to open. So I'd like to save it. So I'm going to go ahead and save the file. Note I'm now in Firefox as my browser instead of Chrome. If it was Chrome, you'd see a little thing down here. Firefox, I'm going to see this little drop down arrow up top. And you can see it downloading up top. Once it is downloaded, I like to put it basically on the desktop. So I'm going to move this thing over, minimize some screens. I'm going to pull this thing down and I want to move this. I want to put it on my desktop. You can open it from here, but I would rather have it somewhere where I know where it is at and then run it from the desktop. So I'm going to drag this on over to the desktop. And so there's our installation thing. So that's not the QuickBooks actual um you know what you're typically going to see when you run quickbooks which will be more of a green kind of icon this is the thing that you need to install quickbooks this is the installation process that is now on our our hard drive you should be able to log back into into it if you need to and download it again if if you have any problems uh with that and then now that it's on our desktop i'm going to run it i like to run it from the desktop and that's what we'll do in the following presentations once we do that remember you will need your numbers on uh, the Word document so that you have your license numbers and product numbers to register at some point. If you don't have that, notice you may be able to open QuickBooks for a while and it'll like run for, for so many times, like a month or a few times. And so then you'll forget that you need the numbers. And then finally, it'll shut down if you don't, if you don't register. It. It'll remind you every time and if you don't do it, it will then shut down at some point. So uh, save yourself the trouble. Remember to do it now and uh, and register have those numbers handy to do so and we will continue on with this next time with the installation process